Hello friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. Guys, I want to appreciate your support. I want to thank you for coming around. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for um, supporting us on this channel. Thank you for subscribing. For those of you that have actually subscribed, thank you for liking our videos. Thank you for reading through. Thank you for listening and thank you for sharing. I appreciate you guys so much. Please, I want to crave your indulgence for those of you that are yet to subscribe. Please do subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new story. I also want to um, request that those of you that are coming across this channel for the very first time, please do subscribe to this channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for coming aboard. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Please do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new story. Thank you so much, guys. Welcome on board. South-South Governors to establish regional security outfits. Governors of the South-South state have announced their intention to establish a regional security outfit. They made the announcement in Asaba Delta state on Thursday while discussing ways to curb insecurity across the oil-rich region. They took the decision after their Southwest counterpart established Amoteku as a regional initiative but agreed on it being converted to a state-based outfit after consulting with the federal government. The governors also resolved to revive the Bayelsa Rivers, Aquaibom, Cross River, Edo, and Delta Commission, which will handle the formation of the local security outfit. Addressing journalists, at the end of the meeting, Ifai Okawa, chairman of the South South Governors Forum, said, Braised will come up with modalities on the establishment of the regional security outfit. He said, The commission will brief the governors on how to establish the joint security outfit at the forum's next meeting in May. Okawa said, the commission was established 10 years ago to facilitate economic cooperation among the South-South states. He said, it is important that the current set of governors revive the commission for the development of the region. The meeting was attended by all the governors in the region except Ben Ayade of Cross River, who was said to be in Abuja for an official engagement. Meanwhile, the Southeast, Governors, the Southeast Governors Forum had also said it will establish a regional outfit, a regional security outfit to protect lives and properties. All right, guys, that's the new story so far. Uh, the issue of the regional outfit is becoming, you know, necessitated and it's becoming um, a, a thing that all uh, regions in the country is actually... Um, beginning to look to explore uh, the southwest the southwest um, initiated um, the security outfit and uh, they piloted the first scheme and other regions are said to take advantage of it to also um, you know uh, find a way to secure the lives and properties of their citizens which we believe the federal government has failed to do uh, in the capacity as the federal government. It is important that the lives and the properties of citizens across the nation are protected, you know, uh, against bandits, against insurgents, against uh, terrorists, against uh, all forms of, uh, uh, you know, evil that has plagued the country over a period of some time. Nigeria is a very peculiar nation, and as a result, you know, the issues that are occurring in this country seem to be peculiar to Nigeria as a result of the peculiarity that uh, the country, you know, shares. Being, uh, that being said, the modalities of the South South um, security outfit, you know, has not been communicated as. The, it is just an agreement that they have had, you know, having come together as South-South governors. They came together, had an agreement that, okay, it is 
high time and it is due that um, they organize and um, establish a security outfit that will work in tandem to ensure um, peace and stability in the country or in the south south region don't forget that the south south region is one of the regions that will definitely uh, benefit so much from this particular establishment as they are the oil rich um, states and um, in the, the majority of the uh, funds that nigeria makes come from the oil and uh, that region is uh, volatile in some areas and some aspects because of the nature of uh, the deals that has to do with the oil and the oil producing communities and firms who are there. So uh, the activities of uh, people in that area is very very important and uh, this security outfit would help to uh, forestall evils and uh, other vices that could hamper the development or the continued development of peace and stability in the South South. Don't forget there was a time whereby militancy was a thing in the South South. But thanks to former President Umar Musa Yaradua, who came up with uh, the idea of an amnesty, and which, you know, after a while has been a thing in that region. So guys, what are your thoughts on this particular issue? Do you think that it is wise and it is important for the South South to establish um, a se security outfit just like the Amoteku version of the Southwest um, security outfit. The importance of this outfit, you know, cannot be overstated anymore as the northern part of the country have actually um, made moves to establish this. The rate at which um, banditry, um, other vices have, you know, hit the country is what actually gave birth to this idea from the Southwest governors, which after meeting with the federal government on different capacities, you know, they've agreed and reached a conclusion on how it will operate and how they would cooperate with this, uh, with the federal government security uh, agencies to bring about peace and security, to bring about unity to bring about uniformism in their system of operation. Well, it is just a new project that has just kick-started in the Southwest and um, we want to believe it's going to be a success and um, the other regions will also key into it just like the South-South has decided to key into it and explore the advantages thereof. So we would be monitoring the events to, of this security outfit to see how they perform, how they function, and whether we can bring you reports as to how things unfold amongst them. Don't forget that um, this security outfit is created, uh, f uh, will also be a source of job creation, or will also be, a, it will also create jobs for people in that region. People in that region and states, they actually know themselves. They know the nooks and crannies. They know those that are involved in perpetrating crimes. They know those who are uh, crime um, syndicates. They know those who are the chiefs, you know, in this environment and the chief crime uh, perpetrators. So they themselves being involved now, you know, to a, to a large extent, once there's an issue, they know where to go to, they can trace it. Unlike the situation whereby the police that is being deployed from the federal, you know, do not know much and will not be able to speak the language of those people. But these guys can speak the languages of their uh, host communities to a very large extent. So they know where these issues are coming from. And uh, with the help of the government, with the support of the government at various levels, you know, we believe that they can bring this issue of insecurity to a standstill and they can uh, you know explore the uh, opportunities of um, the language of uh, the proximity uh, the, the the relationship you know with the people the chiefs the people of the community to also help to uh, forestall evil and also to ensure and enforce peace you know in the society well guys these are my views and my thoughts on this particular news story 
kindly drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are please do not forget to subscribe to this channel also do not forget to hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new update also guys do not forget to please share this news story with friends family relations thank you so much guys i'll see you on daily news have a wonderful day